What are we discussing today? What are we discussing today? What are we discussing today? I want to comment on something. Okay. Mushi, your top is so cute today. Just like you. Where'd you get it? Secret, but thank you. Secret? Mm -hmm. How much did you spend on it? It's also a secret. We're going to take folks to a recommended restaurant in Nashville. Let's go! Howdy folks, welcome to our channel. I am Pushy. I'm Mushy. And we're the Pushy Mushy, Mushy. yeah! Serious. So, Be Serious is actually a gram-positive bacillus that has the potential to cause food poison. Seriously. We will do our best to combine facts with humor, but if we do make mistakes, please let us know and we will do our best to correct. Please like or dislike, hopefully not dislike, subscribe, comment, share, and press that bell icon. Great! Here we go! Shabu Shabu! Hot Pot and Grill! In case you wonder, the address is 1722 West End Avenue, Nashville, Tennessee, 37203. Alright, this is the inside. Of course, you were just outside. <laughs> Fairly spacious. This is my kid's favorite toy. That robot usually sings and takes you to your table. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> the menu is pretty self explanatory with pricing, different broths you can choose for your hot pot, and many Asian drinks. This is the Tom Yum broth. This is how you eat an octopus. You shake it. I don't understand why you need to shake it. And you dip in the sauce and you go like... Mm -hmm. So good. Baby octopus is low in fat, high in protein, and rich in vitamins and minerals. Good for weight management. Some people believe octopus can cure impotence. I find that cute, but octopus can indeed potentially benefit reproductive health. This is how you eat a squid. <laughs> squid is a good source of protein, omega-3 fatty acids, and other nutrients. Omega-3 fatty acids are good for heart health, pregnancy health, skin health, and other health benefits. However, fried squid or calamari tastes good but it's not good for cholesterol health. And... What kind of face is that? And... This is how you eat tripes! Tripe comes from the stomach lining of farm animals and is rich in protein as well as loaded with essential nutrients. Good for bone, muscle, and blood. However, tripe is high in cholesterol, so be careful. This is how you eat a quail egg. <laughs> Not bad. Quail eggs are the cuter version of chicken eggs. Quail eggs have antioxidants that have many health benefits. Of note, I recommend eating them fully cooked, especially for pregnant women and immunocompromised patients. And this is how you eat soy pops. What's so different between eating those two things? Really? No difference. Ooh! So juicy! Looks like exactly how you eat those They are exactly the same. This is how you eat tofu stick. <laughs> it feels like the same thing over and over again. I'm not sure what you're expecting, but they are exactly the same thing over and over again. This is how you eat rice cake. Mm. In general, Soy pops, tofu skin, 
and rice cakes are fine to eat, but I will not overeat them. And this is how you eat taro. Taro is a good one, very nutritious and generally healthy. It is a great source of dietary fiber and good carbohydrates, and it is a great substitution for potatoes. Taro promotes digestive health, diabetic health, heart health, and it lowers risks associated with certain cancer. This is how you eat some beef, some serious beef. Mm. What kind of beef? Good beef. Good beef. <laughs> That's a good beef. Beef. What do you mean by good beef? All right. Beef is a type of red meat, which can be bad for cholesterol health. So be careful. This is some kind of fish ball from some part of China. <laughs> My family is very happy for whatever reason. Let's have a bite. That doesn't help at all. Ooh, ooh, look at the meat, man. Mm, good. This is how you eat a fish ball. Mm. How you eat a fish ball? That's how you eat everything. Of course. How else would you expect someone to eat something? Although you are right, this guy is a little weird. Instant noodle with hot pot. This is one of the best. Oh yeah. Instant noodle is not nutritious, so I do not recommend eating too much of it if you so desire to eat it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah yeah. Mm. Hey, where's my soy pot? You mean that thing Pushy just ate? What happened? It's gone. That was cute. Mushi thinks asking something for three times would bring it back. Pushy, my friend. I think you should own up. Say hi. You never look good. You're so ugly. I said it on camera. Pushy. That was very brave, but there are consequences associated with that. So good! So dumb. You eat instant noodle and you get noodled. Okay, so how was Shabu Shabu? It was good. The only thing that I did wrong, honestly, in my opinion, is that I did not eat enough green leafy veggies. That wasn't the only thing wrong. You got noodled for a reason. They did have that choice over there. Not a whole lot, to be very fair, but I did not... I did not eat enough green leafy veggies. On a scale 1 to 10, how would you rate Shabu Shabu? I would give it a 7.5. Why? That is a secret recipe for a restaurant rating, 7.5. We are pretty actually methodical in terms of coming up with this rating. So, 7.5. I believe anything above 7, you should try. You should try. And try for yourself. Try for your family. Where the bushy mushy. Thanks for watching.